Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I got a haircut and I'm really loving it. I just kind of went crazy short for summer and I think it's quite fun. So today I'm really excited to talk about a new tool from Dyson. You've probably seen it everywhere all over the internet if you're into just new hair technology or Dyson in general like I am. I will say when I saw the sort of press and excitement around this tool. I was more excited for this than I have been for a lot of Dyson products in the past. So in this video, I'm going to talk about what the heck this is, what it does, price point, where to get it, sort of all the basic facts. And then I'm going to go into the pros and cons, so more of my opinion about how I feel about it. Obviously, I am coming to you as someone who has short, fine hair. So yeah, so like my experience obviously is going to be quite different than someone who has long, thick, very curly hair. I do have wavy hair, so straightening it is something that I do quite often, usually with my Dyson Corral. But yes, let's jump right in. So first of all, what is this? <laughs> this is the Dyson Air Straight. And the name pretty much says it all. That's exactly what this tool does. It will straighten your hair, whether your hair is wet or whether your hair with, is dry with air. So it doesn't have hot plates like say a normal straightener or like the Dyson Corral. So that's why this thing is such a game changer. I don't know if you're my age, you probably remember that like sizzling hair tool from Conair. Thank God my mom never let me buy that back in the day where it would straighten your hair, but it was like hot plates on wet hair, which again, what were we thinking? I do not know, but this one will completely straighten your hair while blow drying it at the same time, again, without hot plates. So it is supposed to be a lot healthier for your hair. I was really excited when I heard this because for me, my personal favorite way to wear my hair, at least right now, is very straight, just modern bob. So that usually involves me having to blow dry my hair first and then run a straightener over it, which is obviously double heat. I also color my hair. My natural hair color is this very, very, very dark brown and I color it to a very bleach blonde. So already inflicting a lot of damage on it. So putting double heat on it on top of that obviously isn't the best thing. So I really only straighten my hair whenever I can, which is maybe once a week, once every other week, if I can stretch it that long. However, caveat, this is still heat. <laughs> so it's not like I'm going to, you know, blow dry my hair every single day now with this. I'm still only blow drying my hair about once, twice a week now with this tool. So do want to just put out that disclaimer that this isn't magic it's still heat on your hair <laughs> so don't think this is going to solve everything it can still certainly damage your hair however let's get into the basics so honestly the most the way that i usually use this is to blow dry and straighten my hair from being wet so there's two settings on it it's extremely i think intuitive to use you put it on the wet setting and then my biggest piece of advice when using this and i'm glad i watched a lot of reels and things beforehand is to go slow i think when you have a traditional straightener if you're like me, you're probably afraid to really keep the plates on your hair for a long time. So we tend to kind of go through our hair faster. This, because it's blow drying the hair, you really want to go just like super, super slow. It's actually pretty relaxing too, because the tool, although it's not wireless like the Corral, it is I think very lightweight. It's more lightweight in my opinion than the Corral. I'd have to look at the comparisons, but I think it's probably also lighter than say the blow dryer. It's definitely lighter than the air wrap. And so, yeah, it's just like, it's quite enjoyable um, to use, but definitely, definitely go slow if you're using it. So what I will do is I will section off my hair, just like when you blow dry it into sort of four different quadrants. I will always have on a heat protectant spray of some sort, usually an Olaplex cream in there. And then I will just slowly start making my way through each of the sections of hair. One thing I do want to call out that I really love about this tool, I'm kind of skipping ahead into the pro section, but for me, when I would straighten my hair, I get quite lazy when I got to the back of my head, just because it's an uncomfortable position. It's a lot of weight on the shoulders, especially if you're, you know, you just worked out or something. The last thing you want to do is be holding this thing up here. 
It's also because I can't see it. I get kind of lazy, but I'm just like, okay, sure, sure. And the back of my head would always be a little bit curly or a little bit wavy and sort of miss it. This has made it really easy for me to make sure that the back of my head is completely uniform to the front of my head. It's totally straight. It's really easy for me to just go like this. I'm just let it go through and make sure that it's actually straightening the entire back of my head so thank you Dyson for finally letting the back of my head be not uh, completely different looking to the front of my head let me know if you guys all do that too so that's if you want to blow dry your hair from wet to completely dry for me having short hair again it'll be different timing if you have longer hair thicker hair I have a fine hair but I have a lot of hair but it is short of course so for me to do my entire head it takes about a little less than 10 minutes I would say which is a lot faster than what I was doing before when I was having to blow dry my hair and then straighten the whole thing. So from a speed perspective, this is pretty phenomenal. I will also say that I've done it both ways now. So I've let my hair air dry, which wavy curly, and then I've straightened it with the dry mode. And I've also done the wet mode. It actually is about the same amount of time, strangely. I mean, I still kind of go the same slow pace to straighten my hair, even when it's going from dry to dry or wet to, <laughs> wet to dry. But overall, it's still roughly the same amount of time. But I do want to call it that again, you can do it with dry hair, which is nice. So say you take a shower at night and then it dries overnight and you can wake up in the morning and then do your hair and it'd probably be even less uh, damage on it just because again, dry hair, putting heat on dry hair isn't as damaging as putting heat on wet hair. So want to call out that you can do that. It's also probably why they call this the air straight instead of the air wet to dry, which is what I was called. I literally filmed a whole video calling it that. And then I was like, no, I have to redo this. So yes. So that is sort of how you use it. I purchased this from Sephora, but you can get it directly from Dyson. You can get it at Ulta. You can get it pretty much anywhere all over the web. I'll link a few places below. So far it's only come in this one colorway. I'm sure they'll come out with like a limited edition color like they do for the holidays. So keep an eye out for that. I'm sure eventually it'll probably also be a part of that 20% Sephora sale or maybe a Dyson 20% off, but obviously it's a really trendy in-demand tool right now. So I wasn't able to find it for sale anywhere. So I did end up paying the full price for this, which was $4.99. So it's definitely an investment. I had the air wrap, which at the time that I bought it, I think I had illusions that I was going to have longer, more wavy, cooler hair. But honestly, this is just the look that I like right now. And I want to kind of keep with this aesthetic. And so I only use the air wrap really to like blow dry my hair, which is absolutely not <laughs> what you should be using the air wrap for. So I ended up selling the air wrap to someone at work and then using a little bit of that money to purchase this. So if you're thinking about that, I mean, that's always an option. Dyson does have a really good resale value. So if you wanted to sell on like a Poshmark or something and then upgrade to this tool, totally an option to do that. So I'm going to talk a little bit about the pros that I think of this. I already touched on a few of them. Number one is that it's really, really fast. So if you don't have a lot of time, you know, whether you're a mom or you have a really demanding job or just whatever, you just want more time back in your morning. This is a really awesome tool because it truly is a two in one. So it's very, very fast. Like I said, it took about 10 minutes to do my entire head, which is wild. Another big pro of this tool is that I thought it was really intuitive to use. For me personally, some of their other tools, you know, like the air wrap, I think I had to watch a lot more tutorials and stuff online to try to figure out the right way to use it. And it just felt a little more complicated. Also just having to switch out the different barrels and heads, depending on what side of your head you're on. This to me, because it's such a similar design to a straightener, I pretty much, I honestly didn't even really read the directions. I pulled it out of the box. The buttons were all super intuitive. There's, well, honestly, the least intuitive button was the back one. I couldn't figure out how to open it. You just click up, well, now, of course, click down, the thing opens, and then you've got a power button, the wet or dry button, which if you click that, it changes it over from wet mode to dry mode. You have a cool button, you have 
a little heat booster. So you can go to the highest heat, which I think is 285 degrees, and then bring it back down. I think the lowest heat is 250 degrees. So someone like me, for example, who has color treated hair, I'm definitely gonna go for a lower heat setting. I would try to watch videos of maybe, you know, someone who has your hair type, if you know, if you've got very curly long hair, they might have suggestions for the right settings to use. But for me personally, again, because I don't have a lot of hair, I want a lower heat setting so I don't do a lot of damage. Now, a, a big, big plus for me, and I don't want to de-emphasize this, is that this is such a good hair tool for people with short hair. I think I don't know, maybe it's just me personally, but I feel like the market always comes out with hair tools and they're just not that great for short hair. They're for people with really long, beautiful hair, whether that's like the mermaid crimper or, you know, the air wrap, or there's just all these things that come out and I just find that in theory they sound great and then you try to use them on really short hair and it just doesn't work. So for me, I feel like this tool is absolute perfection for someone, again, that has very short hair that wants a super sleek, straight, sort of modern style, which I, again, I think looks really modern personally, but I just think it's great. I, I feel like this tool was made for people with short hair. Finally, I feel seen. <laughs> so thank you, Dyson. I think it's fantastic. Also, again, you can use this if your hair is long, but really does work wonders for someone with short hair. Again, that other plus is that it does really style the back of your head really well, <laughs> which I get lazy with when I have um, the corral. So in the same way that the air wrap gives you that sort of salon style blowout, this gives you that nice straight blowout that you would get with the salon with someone who's actually paying attention to the back of your hair and not just you being, you know, lazy at home. So big, big fan of this. Now I want to talk a little bit about the cons. I wouldn't say that price is a con necessarily. It's all very relative. I personally think Dyson has just the most incredible technology, very high quality tools, a two year warranty. So for me, for something that I'm using on my hair, often and I'm already putting so much money into my hair in terms of the products that I use and the you know getting haircuts and getting my hair colored that this just seems like a sort of no-brainer investment for me personally but again to each their own so price could be a big con for me it's not I will say the biggest con for me, it was actually a little bit of a surprise and I've been looking at online forums about this <laughs> because I'm like, what is going on? So before I knew that you could sort of change the heat settings, even though I will say I still kind of have this problem even on the lowest heat setting, is that I guess because of the technology and because it's pulling these water vapors and stuff out of your hair so aggressively, it can kind of fog up your apartment, if that makes sense, fog up your bathroom. And if you do have a Dyson air purifier, my Dyson air purifier goes wild. So it really sets it off. So you're gonna wanna have like a window open or something. Again, I don't know if that's anything to be concerned about, but it's a little bit concerning. Again, I'll, I'll leave the like community post where they sort of explain why this is happening, but to me, and as someone who monitors her Dyson air purifier a lot, I was a little bit, uh thrown off when this was like fogging up my whole apartment. I'm like, oh my God, is my hair smoking? Like what is happening? So I'd be very interested to hear if any of you all run into that issue or if this was just me, but maybe it's because I do have, I have Olaplex in my hair. I have a heat protector spray, the Bumble and Bumble Invisible Oil in my hair. So maybe it's also just the oil sort of being pushed out and being vaporized into the air. But Definitely not something I've ever experienced with the Dyson Air Wrap or my Dyson hair dryer or anything like that. So just something to be aware of. And again, very curious if this has ever happened to you. Another thing that, again, is not a really a con for me, but this isn't the most versatile tool. So if you're really looking for something to get a lot of like bang for your buck from, I would almost suggest going with the Corral, the straightener, just because you can straighten your hair, but you can also curl your hair. So if you're the kind of person that really likes to do sort of a variety of styles, this is, might not be the tool for you just because all you're gonna be doing is blow drying and straightening your hair. But if you're a creature of habit like me, then I think you're gonna really love this tool. So 
Hopefully this video helped. Maybe it inspired you to go out and grab it. We'll see. Maybe it just sort of satiated your curiosity about this tool, but I'm just blown away constantly by how innovative Dyson is. And it's really, really cool to see them pioneer the hair space where so many others are not. <laughs> so thank you, Dyson, because it's really fun to see these new innovative things come out in the market and to be able to try them. And I really do think this is going to have a net positive change to my life and the health of my hair. But I will keep you all posted and I'll see you all in the next video.